Think about the first time you started working for the company you work for now, whether that's your own business or you started working for another organization, and how excited you were to sell that product or that service because you had a belief in the solution. You had a belief that this could solve people's challenge and that you actually had a vision of seeing success for yourself. You were like a kid in a candy store and you wanted everybody to experience what you had to offer. Now, if you didn't have that feeling, something is wrong. Maybe you just didn't have a strong passion for the product or service. But I know that many of us have that strong feeling or the desire to let everybody know about it. However, not everybody wants your product or your service. Not everybody needs your product or your service. And sometimes we quickly find that out and we find ourselves running in circles, trying to persuade everyone to buy it. My guest today had a similar experience where she didn't know who to go after. She was told many different things, but when she finally figured it out, it made a huge difference. This episode is brought to you in part by MailTag.io. It's a Chrome browser extension that notifies you when someone opens your email or clicks on a link. Go ahead and check out a 14-day trial with MailTag. Simply go to MailTag.io. This episode is also brought to you in part by TSC Certified Sales Training Program, a course designed to help sellers elevate their sales game, find more ideal customers, build stronger value, and close more deals. To check out our upcoming semester or to go ahead and take a free trial, go to the salesevangelist.com slash free course. Again, the salesevangelist.com slash free course. Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome to another great episode of the Sales Evangelist Podcast. I'm your host, Donald Kelly, the Sales Evangelist. And I'm so excited for another great episode. I'm so excited to be here with you today. And on this episode of Sales from the Street, Dr. Richards is going to talk to us about her experience running and starting her own organization. And like I mentioned in a teaser, we've all been there where we feel that everyone can benefit from our product or service. Or perhaps we didn't know who to go after, and that gave us this paralysis, and we just sat down and hoped and prayed that people would come to our business. I've been in both circumstances, and it's not good. But finding that ideal customer changes the way that we do business. It changes the way that we market. It changes the way that we sell. It changes the way that we view ourselves, and it helps us to be able to create products and service that are actually going to bring value to individuals. Listen to Dr. Richard's story. She also has a podcast, and she's going to tell us a little bit about that as well, but it's the Black Entrepreneur Experience Podcast. I was a guest on it. I think you'd really like it. But let's dive into her story. Welcome to the show, Francis. Thank you, Donald. I appreciate the opportunity. Well, I'm so excited to be here with you, and I'm so excited to chat with you today to gain your insights because you... You're in a unique spot because you speak with a lot of entrepreneurs and you gain a lot of great insights from them. And I can't wait to pick your brain on that. But before we dive into all the fun stuff, why don't you tell us a little bit more about you and what you do? Well, thanks so much. Again, Dr. Francis Richards, and I am the CEO and founder of Arlene Richards LLC. And what we do is we help people reclaim their wealth by transforming their health, incorporating eating cleaner, at eating cleaner lifestyle. So we believe that your wealth is your health. Mm, so true on that. And I'm sure you have many experiences where people did not take care of themselves and then they found themselves in some, uh, some dire situation, so to speak. Help oh, yeah. Business. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, we're going to pick your brain on all that good stuff today and learn about that, but especially towards the end, because I don't want to make sure folks connect with you. You have a podcast as well, right? I do. I am the host of Black Entrepreneur Experience. And what I do is I interview CEOs, innovative thinkers, thought leaders, and Black entrepreneurs across the globe on how to elevate the Black entrepreneur experience. Love it. And I think that's a, it's a fabulous thing that you're doing. You're helping tremendous, a tremendous amount of people to be able to, I guess, elevate their, their business based on these interviews and these experiences that you're getting. Well, let's go ahead and dive into this. In this episode, people know listening to this, this call Sales from the Street, where we get a chance to connect with sales rep. They tell us about their biggest sales struggle, how they overcame that struggle, and the results they're seeing. So let's start from the top with you. Tell us about the biggest sales struggle you had as an entrepreneur. 
I think for me, Donald, the biggest sales struggle I had was really finding my ideal client, finding my tribe, who is resonating with the message that I'm putting out there. And so that was the biggest struggle for me is there are so many different ways when you're building an internet business and you're wanting to connect. And I've listened to a lot of your episodes and I love when you talk about social media and how to actually use social media to build your business and to find your tribe. And it's a lot of information out there. And I think that we are in the um, space where there's so much coming at us. And so we don't really know what to do. So I think the biggest problem that I had had was really trying to find my ideal client. Why, and for, so you getting, and the reason why this was so difficult, because again, going back, is that you're getting bombarded from every single direction with everyone telling you, do this, do that, do that, do this, right? Right. And in the internet, and so I'm speaking specifically coming as a transformational coach. Mm -hmm. And so from that perspective, as I was building out that business, I was listening to so many individuals say it's all in the email list. It's all in the social media. It's all in the Facebook advertising. It's all in your messaging. And so I think that that was the hardest part is trying to find out what is really relevant. And I think with the internet and technology, so much is changing. So how you go about building a business, say five years ago in 2014, is totally different in 2019, how you would find your ideal client or how you will build your business. And when you talk about sales, there are certain things that are apropos, whether you're online or offline, and that's building rapport building those quality relationships. Dude, yeah, that, that is so true. Awesome on that. Well, I want to hear what you did because some of the sales reps and entrepreneurs are listening to this. They're like, yeah, I'm in that same boat. How did you go about discovering that ideal customer now? What I had to do is really block out all the noise. And I had to come from a space of authenticity. So I had to, first of all, I had to deprogram myself from going from working for someone. So that was a whole different ball game. So I had to deprogram myself thinking like I was working for someone and Mm -hmm. come from the position of I'm working for myself. And so I had to lose all of the things that I was so accustomed to listening to the bosses saying, you need to do this. And I had been in sales before prior to And I think that that's what helped me in terms of my business too, because I've done radio and television sales and and just a lot of different types of sales. So I had to first deprogram myself from that employee mode to the employer. I am the owner to the owner mode. And then I had to be true to who do I really want to serve? Because when I was working for someone, I had to serve anyone. And that was the key. Once I started to really define who I wanted to serve, then I am starting to attract my ideal clients opposed to me trying to go out there because I was in that mode too, that I had to do a lot of cold calling. I had to do, you know, do whatever. It was all of these different to do's, to do's. And once I stopped going down this list saying I had to do 10 posts a day, I had to do Facebook Live, I had to do a Periscope, I had to go into LinkedIn and all of those things that are busy. Mm. And I was working on the business instead of in the business, which is bringing in income. And once I did the, sh- the focus of prioritizing, how am I going to get sales? How am I going to focus on getting, bringing value? And I think that was the other thing too is I had to say, what problem are you really solving? And really listening to my clients and listening to the pain point, saying that I'm here to serve them. It wasn't about the sale. Of course, we do want the sale because we (laughs) want to eat and we want to pay our contractors or employees or whatever. But it was more about, I got out of that mode of being desperate right? Mm. And I went into the mode of serving. Like, how can I really serve and help these people, my clients, my fan base, my tribe, 
when I went into that notion instead of out of desperation. I remember someone had shared with me and said, don't be desperate. And so I took that at heart. And so now I come from a position of how can I serve you? And if in fact, like I tell people, like I've had consulting contracts that I've turned down because I want it to be a win-win for all parties involved. And so I operate from a position of, are we a good fit? And if we're not, I want you to find the right person that is going to serve you. So you started adopting this mentality. You started focusing on helping people. You started doing some of the exchanges. What results are you seeing now in your business as a result from all of this? The results that I'm seeing now is I'm getting qualified clients. Before I was getting strategy calls Mm -hmm. and the individuals really could not afford my service. And I would have been a disservice to them to even try to say, let's go into business together. Let me work with you. It didn't work. So when I started really listening to what it is, you know, like now I'll ask a person, I'll say, like, what do you want to accomplish? And like someone will say something crazy, like I want to lose 50 pounds in five days or something like that. And I'll just say, I don't know if that's possible. And so I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to try to convince you that we should work together because you have unrealistic goals. And so what I'm finding is that I'm getting more qualified, bona fide clients and we enjoy working with each other. They're getting the results and then I'm seeing more testimonies behind them getting the results because I'm not coming from, oh, I I have to work with everyone. I don't need to work with everyone because everyone is not my ideal client. Love that. That's such a strong, powerful message there. And I, I wish more people would get that idea and understand it, that, you know, don't need to serve everyone, just serve the people who really need what you have to offer. If there's one major piece of advice you'd like folks listening to this episode to walk away with today, what's that one major piece of advice? I would have to say authenticity. If you can really be authentically who you are, I think in life we have this period in our life that someone is telling us that we should do this or we should do that. And if you can really dig deep into yourself and find out what you're really passionate about, what makes you sing, what makes you get out of bed every morning. I think that that's half the battle because your attitude dictates your altitude. Mm. And if you love what you do, you will do what you love. And one of my, I have this acronym and I say that you ought to dance in life. And dance stands for determined action now creates energy. And when you see a dancer, and I mean literally and figuratively dance, when you see a dancer, a dancer dance because they want to dance. They are not dancing because you're making them dance. Whether they're Mm -hmm. dancing for fun or dancing on the dance floor at a party or they are a professional dancer. And so I love that. And I would love people to really be authentically who they are, who they are. And so many of us are stuck in this. It, in this life that we're doing things that we do not like. We don't enjoy the space that we're in and just live in the moment. But I, if I had to tell you anything, find your passion, do what you love and love what you do because life is so short and you don't want to get on the other side and say, wow, I really should have been a musician and I was a dentist. Mm, find that passion and live it. Well, if folks are listening to this episode, they want to get connected with you, what's the best way for them to go about doing so? DrFrancisRichards.com, and that's Francis with the E, I'm D-R-F-R-A-N-C-E-S-R-I-C-H-A-R-D-S.com. And I'm also on Facebook and Instagram as Dr. Francis Richards. Dr. Francis, we appreciate you taking the time to come on the show today. We appreciate it again. Thank you, Donald. Appreciate the opportunity.
Listen, I'm telling you, man, Dr. Richards came and saw and she delivered. And like many of you, whether you're an entrepreneur or you're an individual sales rep working for an organization, just understanding that ideal customer and really coming down to to the fine tuning what their needs are, the challenges that they face on a day to day basis and crafting your message to hone in on helping them. I mean, that that there is it's important. And without that, you're never going to be successful. I'm grateful for her sharing that story and her experience. And I encourage you to go back and connect with her, find out some of the cool things that she's doing, check out her podcast. Also, make sure to check out some of the cool things that she's teaching about how we can just take care of ourselves, make sure our mind and our physical body are in the right place so that we can accomplish and do the things that we desire and help the people who we need to help. If you would like to connect with her, go back to the show notes, thesalesevangelist.com slash the word episode number 10. Nine nine Again, the salesevangelist.com slash the word episode number 1099. Let her know you heard her on the Sales Evangelist podcast. I'm sure she'll be super excited about that. And while you're on the show notes, if you haven't done so already, man, just go ahead and check out MailTag. You can try the 14-day free trial. And when you fall in love with it, you can use promo code Donald at checkout. Very simple. Again, go to MailTag.io. And then also, Check out TSC Certified Sales Training Program. We have a new semester beginning, and you know what? It would be great to have you join us. You can jump in at any time because all the modules are they're set up that individuals can go in. You can take them. You can finish them up on your own, and when it's all said and done, bam, you're good to go. Find out all the details. Again, go back to the show notes, thesalesevangelist.com. If you want to check out the course for free, the first module, or I think we have the first two modules for free. Go to the salesevangelist.com slash free course. Again, the salesevangelist.com slash free course. We want to help you. We want you to find more ideal customers. We want you to be able to know what to say when you find those people so that you can guide them down the buyer's journey and build stronger value. We want you to be able to close more deals. But most importantly, I want to challenge you each and every single day to go out and do big things. Hey, thank you so much for listening today. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit subscribe. Show your friends, your colleagues how they can subscribe. Leave us a five-star rating and review on Apple Podcasts or on Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, or wherever you listen to find podcasts. It would be extremely appreciated. Thank you so much. It goes a long way. Our show today was produced by myself and the Sales Podcast Network. It was edited and mixed together by the one and only Mr. Jershon O'Bale. Our content writer and show note creator is Mrs. Shannon Rasmussen. You can find audio credits to this and all of our episodes in the show notes. And as always, I am your host, your coach, your mentor, your guide down the sales journey, Mr. Donald C. Kelly, the sales evangelist. Sales Podcast Network.